Hello fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to do some more epic fishing. We're going to be epic fishing on level 16. And we're going to be catching the convict grouper. The blue striped butterfly fish. No, it's the blue striped angelfish. And the brown banded butterfly fish. That's it. Those are hard ones to remember. <laughs> but anyways... The thing to note here is fishing on the ocean, catching the epics, isn't quite as quick and easy as doing the lakes and rivers. It takes a little bit more time. So what I recommend is just fishing for all the other fish and you'll eventually catch these. But what I'm gonna do is kind of give you some tips and tricks on how to catch them, basically, how to uh, try to target them and as you're trying to target those fish you're going to catch a lot of other fish so let's go ahead and go to level 16 all right so let's switch this to hard for a minute and i'm going to explain something here for you so on hard you notice you'll have 300 200 and 100 and you have groups at each level so what I do is I'll cast out there as far as I can using of course the best pole and the best bait and that usually will get you out to 300 then I'll go ahead and cast out now as you're reeling in count the seven one two three four five six seven now you're at about 200 Reel in again, counting to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, went a little fast there, but you kind of catch my drift. As I'm reeling it in, I'm counting to six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's more like it. And then you pause for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks better. So that was 300, 200, and then that's about 100. Maybe about 100, 150. So that's about the distance that you want to pause, you know. Bring it in, count to seven, six or seven. Um, and you'll see the swirls, like you'll see the swirl out there. You'll see the bubbles here. That'll kind of give you a, an idea of where they're at. You just kind of pause at those areas. Now, for catching the different fish. This one's going to be the only one that we're going to use a lure on. We're going to use a spinner. And what we're going to do is we're going to cast out as far as we can, reel it in as fast as we can. It does show the depth being the lower two levels. However, with these epics using a lure, you just pull it in as fast as you can. As soon as the line turns red, pause for a second, let it grab it. Okay, so we're going to catch that one on the spinner. Blue striped angelfish. And the convict grouper, <clears throat> we're going to use the crawfish. The reason we're going to use the crawfish and not the krill, let's go back to hard again. I'm going to switch to krill, pick up my pole. <laughs> Everything is green. Everything will eat krill. All right. So now if we switch this over to the crawfish, you can see we have a lot of yellow, red, and there's just a handful of green. So that means that that epic, which likes the crawfish, is gonna be a green fish. So you only have, you're only competing with three other fish that are gonna grab it instantly. So that's why we're gonna use the crawdad. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to lure fishing and we'll go ahead and catch the one off the spinner first. Of course you wanna have your best spinner, you know, spinner A, you want to have the casting reel A, saltwater reel A, saltwater um, pole A. You see everything is going to be red and yellow. So that means that on the spinner, the only green fish is going to be that epic that's out there. And so we're just going to cast out, reel it in as fast as possible. And since I'm one-handed, I'm just holding the trigger down. 
get about there and we can just pull it in. And we just keep going across doing this method. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and catch this one right away. I'll do a few casts showing you how to catch the convict grouper. Oh, it just turned red fast. Of course that one takes off, so that ain't gonna be it. We'll bring this guy in anyways. But as I was saying, what I'll do is I'll catch this first one on the lure. And then what I'll do is do a few casts, kind of show you the technique, and then I'll bring you back when I catch him. Because unlike the rivers and lakes, these epics can take a while. I mean, a long while. I've, I've been sitting here before for an hour just trying to catch one. Matter of fact, earlier tonight I caught four sharks before I caught an epic. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. So that's why I say it's a lot of times on these saltwater epics, it's, it's best to just. Oh! My reel is broken. Well, I guess I gotta go buy a new reel. smaller splash. I don't remember if it was swam left and right like that before though. It's a fairly small fish. So it might be. Oh, we caught him. Alright, so there's the brown banded butterfly fish. So, alright. Well, got another epic from my tank. And so now I'm going to switch over to float fishing. And I'm going to use the crawdad. Looks like I got 63. I got plenty to go. And I'm going to put it on the top by pressing my thumbstick up. So it's on the top level. And we're just going to do the same thing cast out as far as possible. That should be about 300. Let my bobber come up. Whoop. And I'm going to reel in as I count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reel in until I count to six. Four, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a couple more just for giggles. And nothing. Really, and count to six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause there for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And kind of pause there. Come in a little bit more. Nothing. And that's my technique. I'll just sit here and I'll go all the way across, just like I did on the lure fishing, and a few at the 100. There's an instant bite. And it was a smaller splash as well, so that's a good sign. Good sign. There we 
go. Oh, there's the blue striped angelfish. All right. We'll keep him. And all we have left is the convict grouper. Now, so the convict grouper, you have the crawfish, and then you have a couple of minnows. Now those minnows, or the metal jig and the minnow, minnow's gonna be catching a lot of sea bass. So that's why I'm not using the minnow. Metal jig, you got the amberjack, mahi mahi, another minnow. So you can see a lot of these fish, that's a crankbait. Minnow. Metal jig. A lot of these fish are going to gonna go for those lures. However, if you look, there's not very many. They're going to go for the crawbad, craw, uh, crawfish. Except for that striped beak perch right there. It's one of the reasons why I stick with the crawfish. It's because not many are going to go for it. Let's see, he is on mid-level, so where he's at there is fine. Since it's gold, you can go down one. Definitely not that. But I usually just stick to the top. There's a fast bread. Although, the swirl went after it, so that's probably a beak perch. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. We got a fin out there. I'm trying to catch this grouper for over an hour now. Using the crawdad, or the crawfish, however you say it. Depends on where you're from. <laughs> Too many beak perch fish. There he is. Yep, finally. Takes a lot of patience to catch the grouper. I uh, reset many times. But well, we finally caught him. I ended up catching them on my fly fishing technique. Again, if you bring it in, you know, counting to six or seven, a couple times, it, it's pretty much the same thing. If you do your fly fishing technique, as long as you can hit those two or three levels, um, you know, like just casting it to about there, that's your 200. And casting it out to there, you've got your 300, maybe bring it in just a slight. And then your 200. So if you can get those two locations, and then, you know, you can come up here every once in a while. And you do the fly fishing. That's what I ended up catching a lot of the angel fish on. But uh, there you go. We caught all three of the epics on level 16. It took a while. It took a long while. It took uh, a little over an hour. Probably an hour and 15 minutes to catch them all. With, well, with the video cuts, it's gonna, it took me an hour and 15 minutes. But uh, in reality, it took me probably about two hours to catch all of them. With the uh, group being the longest. So, again, you come out here, fish for other fish, you'll eventually catch it. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you haven't done so already, Please like this video and subscribe and share with your friends. Have a good one. Bye.